Well, today we're gonna be forging more alloys and maybe doing something about this little spider problem that we have. Also, where did all these dead spiders come from and why is there a cobweb right there? Is it because I haven't played this in a few days? Just a whole bunch of things lying around the shop, gross. But at least our good friend over here is still having his hat climb ever taller. And I guess these things are gonna be good for our dead bug collection. It's about time I started on this because I didn't have one as a kid. There's also a new rope here. What happens if I pull this? Oh, it's, uh, it's bones raining down from the sky. Ah! <laughs> and a pumpkin head. It is Halloween when I'm playing this, so happy Halloween, everybody. And there is more spiders here. Why don't we just add those to the collection as well? Kill them right in front of his friends. And we're getting some iron from them and other things that we can't really use yet because there's so little of it. Just eh, get out of here. I need to make room for this order I need to put together. So now it's at the point where if we have to make things that we already did, then it doesn't tell us right away. Or I guess it does. It just doesn't say it in the description. Pseudo lead. Interesting. Oh, wow. Here we go. We're starting to make some weapons. Zinc white gold. Long sword blade. Oh, that is cool. Oh, there's another spider over here. Get out of there. Hey, it's some silver. We can at least throw that back in our pile because we can actually store that. Also, we have so much tin. I didn't realize that. And Shibuichi, we've already made, so let's just get that out of the way. Someone was saying I can look in here to find out what I need to do. Well, it's kind of, you know, a discovery basis, so a lot of these I don't even know what to do with. But Shibuichi is mostly copper and a little silver. So let's just get this nickel out of our crucible here. Hopefully we have enough copper for this. Okay, not enough for the big chunks, so little chunks? Or not? Oh, we gotta, we gotta turn it on. That would help. It, uh, most of these are working, so I guess the levels are a little thrown off. Maybe we should grind some- Oh, look, a golden spider! Oh, I need another terrarium. I don't want to kill this one. That's so cool. Minor distraction, but let's just crush up some things. Maybe the levels will fix themselves once we get some new stuff in here. And it doesn't seem like they're going down at all, so I guess we technically have this much, but we can't pull that much. Oh, we can pull one of those. Neat. But we need enough for a hook, which is two standards and a small. My goodness. Well, we can see just how much copper we can fit in here. And there it's actually doing it all. Okay, then. But all those little bits are kind of annoying. But I guess that's what we gotta do. So let's make a standard ingot since we have this much. Getting all the things heated up here. Super hot. I wonder if some of this stuff is just gonna, you know, evaporate or something. But this should be good for the single ingot that we need get it all in there excellent and then just eh, get that out there and then can we get another one like that with just the little amount that we have it looks like we can and thankfully the forge is still hot so we will have to heat up all of these ingots once we get all of them forged because the initial ones are going to be cooled off pretty well i feel like but we can just bring them over to the anvil one at a time and get that bone off of there eh. and then hopefully there's enough copper in here to make a small thing oops wrong one we only need like 10 or so right as long as we keep the ratio the same so that should do you good enough. And then quickly get the mold there switched out for this one. And then be ever so careful pouring into this one. Oh, beautiful. That was a perfect one right there. Absolutely tiny Shibuichi ingot. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but it should be fine. And can you just grab the, grab the ingot? Okay, just dump it out and then grab it. But like I thought, these are cooled off very much. So what if we just throw this back in here and then let it heat up a little bit? That works. And then get the other one in there too. Don't want to heat it up too much so that it melts. But these tongs should help with that. And that's looking good enough. So one, two, and three. And we can make a hook. Excellent. Start the craft. And if it follows that the more ingots there are, the more expensive these are, then I'll like that even more. So we get all the shape pounded out. And that's finished. Excellent. wonder if I could use this hook to hook other things. That would be amazing. But this one is worth money. 118 monies. We are getting some good monies here. And now we're starting to discover some new things. So pseudo lead, tin and silver. Not really sure what pseudo lead is going to look like as far as values go. But let's just start with 50-50. And then let's see. It's, yeah, two standards. So we need a lot of it. And hopefully the big thing works. Oh, yes. That makes it so much easier. Okay, two of those and then two of tin. I said two of tin. 
get one of those out of here. Okay, so that's 50-50, but we might need one more of each just to get the ingot filled out properly. Watch it create some crazy named thing like a lot of these tend to do, and thankfully the gold spider's still alive. But we need to finish these orders before we can do things. Okay, so get the spider out of the mold, even though I'm pretty sure it would, you know, cook itself under all this molten metal. But we get all of that in there, and once it cools, it- oh, the thing is getting hot. Oh, that's pot metal, so that's worthless. Oh, that's disappointing. So it's not 50-50. Since it's pseudo-lead, I feel like there's more tin than silver off a name like that. So let's try 75% tin. And thankfully, it's a very low melting point for these things. But, you know, we're in a hurry, so we're just gonna turn up the heat. So this is 75% tin and 25% silver. And there's a pseudo-lead! Perfect! That was amazing! Get one of those right over there, and then we need to quickly get the other one going. So three of those, and then some of these middle ones of silver. Oop, too much. Second ingot coming right up. And they should be hot enough. Yeah, it shouldn't matter too much. And thankfully, the quality doesn't drop if we miss one of these things hovering over one of these empty areas. So we still get 100%. Excellent. But it's still kind of hot, I guess. Well, we still get there. Okay, now the fun one. Zinc white gold, longsword blade. Zinc and gold, go figure. But have we messed with zinc white gold before? I think we've done white gold. We've done white bronze, that would be it. Which is only a little bit of zinc. So by that logic, it should be mostly gold. Kind of like the rose gold was. So let's get 75% gold and then 25% zinc. That should be enough. And man, zinc has such a low melting point. Thankfully, the gold doesn't take too much longer after that. But this is three standard ingots, I believe, for a longsword blade. Which means we also don't have enough in this thing. Great. Let's just leave that in here for now, then. And then get one more big thing of gold. One more big thing of zinc. That should be all that's needed to get the value there. Split a little bit of that splash out the bottom. But hey, that's zinc white gold, so we got it right. And then just a little dash of zinc on the top. I suppose if I need multiple ingots, could just, you know, fill this up entirely and then pour out only as much that the mold needs at a time. So let's do that really quick because we need three of these. Yeah, three of these. So instead of 30, we're going 60. Hopefully our crucible is big enough because these are big chunks here. So we just gotta keep the good balance going and then it's getting very full and we're also half zinc and half gold. So we'll just take away some of that. Should work? Yeah, it should work for two more ingots. And this thing is very full. So let's not go too crazy with it. One of the things in the shop is that crucible lid that might work, but I feel like that's just for the molten stuff. And there is a lot of molten stuff to be sure, but it all gets melted down. Very nice. And then hopefully the spider doesn't, you know, burn up here. But we get one ingot poured out. Ooh, okay. That should be good. And then quickly rip that out of there. And then pour the second one. And hopefully that was enough. Oh, that doesn't look like enough. Please be enough. No, it's just a chunk. Oh, I poured too much in this one. Could I just remelt this then? Remelt both of these? Don't want to overflow it too much. And that should be good. But I might have the values wrong anyway, so we can just get a little bit more there. Okay, that kind of looks like enough. Yes, it's enough. But this other ingot here has just cooled off entirely. So let's just throw that back in here for a little spell. And the forge is still cooling off. So let's just bump up a little bit of heat there to get that nice and red. And good enough. Give me, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Get rid of the, get rid of, get rid of the ingot. Come on, let go. Thank you. And then get this here, a longsword blade, yes. Okay, we lost a little bit of heat there with that whole fiasco, but we should be able to pound this out very well. Makes me wonder if there's gonna be eventually a third step here with the towel there, but we just pound them out in a line. Ooh, there's some four spots here. So one, two, one, two, or three hits, I guess. Just gotta go on down the line. And there it is, a longsword blade. Beautiful, but the ductility is very weak, but look at the size of this thing. How can this fit on the scale? My, ow, it's so hot. This is just a massive blade. Like I know long swords are big, but this is just ridiculous. Thankfully it fits on the scale just enough. Oh, but the spring fell off. Just get that over there. You know what, balance on top of the long sword blade. There, now we're making 236 coins on the sale. Excellent. And our merchant friend has showed up. Also our little hat here. Actually is the hat going up? 
The head itself is climbing. What sort of weird black magic is this on Halloween of all days? Oh, but we are still like 60 coins shy of another furnace upgrade. But a round stock mold cast round stock bars. Yeah, I kind of figured that, but that's a new thing. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. And then we need to make sure to get another terrarium for our golden boy and a flaky artwork. I don't think I have one of these yet, so let's get one. Excellent. And give me some more orders. Need to get that other furnace upgrade. And there's a the round stock mold. It's just a little circle thing. Okay, now we have a jar. Where's that golden spider at? Hello? There you are, right down there. Oh, already cracked the terrarium a little bit. No, he ran away! Come back here! What, you don't like a jar that's pristine? Deal with it. There you are. Come on back. Oh, you're under the ground. Get back up here. There you are, there you are, and there it is! Oh, the gold went away! Oh, this. that's more annoying than anything. At least it says you're a golden spider, so thanks, Elliot, for being extremely disappointing. We'll just leave you right down there. Ooh, hey, here's the artwork. Wow. Well, at the very least, we have a round stock mold, so we should be able to take round stock orders, right? Like, what would that even be? Like, wheels? Zamac. There's a lot of just random little bits down here. Yellow gold decorative fish. A decorative fish? Hold on. Is that something that takes round stock? It is! Four round stock! Oh my goodness! I just got it and you're expecting the most of me! That- <laughs> this guy's like subdingus. Bronze fireplace shovel. That sounds like fun. And a Shibuichi lock. Okay, so we are getting some mixed ingot things, which is exciting. And yellow gold. Why can't they just be like regular gold? My goodness, there's so much happening on the shelf. Let's just clean that up a little bit. Get the spiders out of here and yeet over into the jar. Okay, let's make this bronze fireplace shovel because we know how to do that. Or at least a very awkward amount. 83 and 17? Right, because 6040 just creates bell metal and that was annoying. But it should be 75, 25 still, right? I hope so. And here, let's just go right on over this area and pick up all the things. Oh, I guess pod metal isn't conductive interesting we can just stick all these bits up here out of the way so i do want to see if we can get that 75 25 but we need more copper for that not really sure how one simply acquires fossils but i'm pretty sure it's in rocks like this just gotta hope that you know it's not super rare even though it's fossils and being rare is kind of their whole thing Maybe it'll just be nice to me and we get it super early, which those should sell for a lot, I would think. And I think we just got to keep this machine turning because that was not a lot of copper in that little load there. And we are getting a whole lot of aluminum though, which is interesting. Okay, this should hopefully be enough copper to work with. Except it's two standards and a round stock. Let's make that round stock first because that's new and exciting. Oh, and we just killed a spider there. Ah, well, not much is missing. There's aluminum here. Let's just stack all those together and then, you know, smoke another one of you for a little more aluminum. It's a little messed up, but I think if we get enough of these bugs in the jar, we can bust this open and make a carbon ingot, which would be... Very interesting, to say the least. And look at how much aluminum there is. It's so full. Okay, copper. Enough of these to get 18. So we get just one of those. And if this makes bell metal again, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. But at least from there, it's pretty easy to make bronze. Also, where'd that scrying monocle go? So we get all that melted. And sure enough, 7525 is bell metal. So we do need some more copper. Well, thankfully, that's very easy to do. Just grab one and then chuck it in. And in no time at all, we get bronze. I guess the metal cooled off very suddenly because we just got an achievement for it. But we, oh, gotta get the round stock in place. How much does this hold? It looks like a middle ground between the standard and the small. But we just gotta, uh, get it in there. Okay, that's enough. And then how does one simply get it out of there? Like so? Like... Like so? Okay, that's that works well enough. So that's all that needs. And then two standards, right? Which we learned this trick. Just gotta get maybe 50 copper in here. Which it makes it very full. Oh my goodness. So 50 copper and then just a little bit of tin if there's room for it. Just gotta... Okay, I think that works. It's a little one-sided, but oh my goodness. This fills it up so much. The shapes do not align. But that works well enough to get it there. Oh gosh, the tin is heating up sooner. Gotta make sure it all... No, it doesn't spill out. Oh, great. Now we got... Okay, let's just melt the copper first and then add the tin later. I think that's a better idea. Oh, and that all melts at once. Is it still bronze? Nope, it's pot metal because there's barely any tin in it anymore. Oh, why do you got to do me like this? Just 
Eh, get in there. And then we can scry it. Okay, now it's bronze. Is it... What's the weight of it, though? It should be 60. 59? Yeah, close enough. So we get one... Oh, that was way too far away. What in the world there? How did it get so far away? And there's all these little chunks of rose gold and bronze that are mixing together. Oh, that's annoying. This is why you have a clean workspace. Ooh, hey, we know how to make a cleaver. That's cool. But also, how much of this is bronze that we can actually, like, keep? There's bronze. This is bronze. Get the rose gold out of here. And all this is bronze, too. Get over here. Okay, but now we gotta do this again anyway. And I don't think we have enough copper for this anymore. But we only need one ingot, so we don't need to go too crazy with it. Just need enough tin to balance out the ratio. But maybe a little bit less of each, especially copper. That should work, right? And the bronze that's already in there should help the ratio as well. And it's still bell metal. Okay, so we need more copper. Can I just get a big chunk of copper, please? Instead of just a bunch of little bits? I guess not. Oh, it becomes such a tedious process when you don't have enough things. And now we're making pot metal. Neat. More copper. Just getting every last little bit that we have. Probably should have just brought the crucible over here, but you know what? This is fine. And also, I just for, I just remembered I had a magnet. We don't talk about it. Okay, there's the bronze we desire. But that's also 43 metal bits that we have. So this is a little bit of a heavy ingot. But hopefully we can... Oh, okay, you know what? A little bit of spillage isn't the end of the world. But man, that took so much time that we need to heat up this again. And also, where'd the... Oh, it just rolled off. That's fine. We just killed a spider. But we also got to heat these up now because they're entirely cooled off. So just a little bit of heat. Thankfully, I can use the tongs for this. A little bit more. That's looking good. Don't want these to go molten in the thing. Because that's just a mess. But now we can make the fireplace shovel. Let's begin. Couple really good smacks over here. So it becomes a round shape, I guess. It's starting to square out. Now, whoa, okay. Oh, I see. We're pounding out the shape of the shovel. Oh, that's cool. Why are these not going? Come on, go, go. Can you, thank you. Wasting a lot of time on that nonsense. I didn't realize before that we're pounding out the shape of this. But, oh man, we are losing so much heat. Gotta get this done, gotta get this done, gotta get this done. And that doesn't even look like a shovel at all. But we got it, and the strength modifier is kind of good. Oh. <laughs> I guess this game isn't uh, as updated as I thought. It's craft. Beautiful. <laughs> Best thing ever. Put it right next to the live, laugh, love signs. But that is 323? Hello. Wow. Like We're going to be getting that forge upgrade in no time. But man, the workplace up here is just not good. We should just forge this pot metal and get it out of the way. So we'll just make a really quick cog out of this and then sell that for basically pennies on the dime. Not sure if that's how that phrase works, but it's how it works here. That just adds, did that add anything? It's 10, 10 cents. And I guess a lot of people really like this Shibuichi material, which really sucks for the amount of copper I have. So we just gotta do this for a little bit, but it does look like we're getting a lot of gold out of this, which is exciting because we do need a lot of yellow gold things for that fish later. But man, the copper supply is really hurting here. You think these people have plumbing yet? I could borrow some from their house because that's a thing that happens, I guess. Ooh, that rock has a bit of copper exposed, so there should be a lot in there. This is the stuff that I needed, but it's also mostly aluminum, which our aluminum supplies are looking pretty topped up here. But thankfully, we are getting enough copper to do a little bit. And let's see, it's a lock, so that's a standard and a small. So with that, we would need like 40 or something. Well, we can get quite a few. Okay, yeah, 30. That should be fine. And then silver, I believe. Just to get 10 more. There, that should do it. And this little bit of molten metal is still here. I thought you would have cooled off forever ago. Oh, well, it's not my problem. Nice little bit of Shibuichi there. Okay, now big ingot first. Or maybe the small ingot would be better. Just gotta be careful not to overflow it. And then just a bit of whoop. Okay, that might have been too much, but it's enough for the ingot. So we get that out of there, this up here. Throw the Shibuichi bits back in there. No, no, no. Gra grab this little bit. Oh, now the metal cooled off in there. That's annoying. Wasn't there another Shibuichi bit that fell? There's bronze there, but we should still have enough for the big ingot. 29, that'll be just enough. And thankfully that flows in way easier because we just dumped the whole thing out. Okay, big ingot, small ingot, which already looks cooled off. So just smoke that a little bit more. And now, ooh, this lock has a huge difficulty thing. Okay, well, let's start. Pounding out with the big hammer is pretty much the same. And as long as we can get over 50% on the first hit, then this can go a lot faster. 
But that mill is cooling off so rapidly. And there's so many tiny little bits to hit here. And that was a five point star there. Let's get those out of the way first. And then a few more of these. We're down to 10% heat already? Oh goodness, oh goodness. Oh no, we lost the heat. Oh, we gotta finish that? I'm not happy with that. Can I heat it up again? Okay, I guess this rag is to erase mistakes. That makes sense. But, oh, the quality sucks. Shibuichi cools off so fast, but I guess they're happy with it. We're just not getting the full monetary value. But we should be able to make up that difference with the yellow gold decorative fish. Copper, silver, and gold. So, Olympic medals, basically. Which means even more copper is needed. Why? And I guess third place is bronze, technically, but you know, close enough. At least we have enough copper to try out a little bit of a thirds for each of them. But for sure, yellow gold would be mostly gold. So let's get that in there first. We need a lot of ingots for this, but it is a round one, so it shouldn't cost as much. But let's start with half gold and then get some silver in there as well. Actually, that might be a bit much for all of them. So let's try four things of gold, two things of silver. I said two things. And then two things of copper, if we can get another one. Okay, so here's hoping that since it's yellow gold, it's mostly gold, and this is correct. 50, 25, and 25. Once they all melt together, scrying glass, tell me your secrets. Ooh, it's a question mark, so that's a good sign. Let's get the round thing in place, because that's what we need here. And then just care, ooh, carefully get one thing full. Okay. And then when it cools off, it's yellow gold. Yes. Now I'd like to take this ingot out a little easier, but I guess just, you know, dump it. That's one. And that only took half of it. So we should be able to get two of these out here with another thing like that. Excellent. So that's two. Looking like a peach there. And then we need to do the same thing again to get the rest, which I wonder if the crucible being hot enough would melt it straight from the drop chute here. Oh, great. Now we're not getting any big bits of copper anymore. So we gotta go smaller bits, but that should be fine with two of those, four of those. So the thing is about 25 weight if I am interpreting that correctly, or maybe just 20. Oh, that was a very fast pour, but that should be good enough to get three. And, oh, get this yellow gold bit out of here. Just throw it in the pot, even though I'm pretty sure that's not hot enough to melt them. So just stick back in here a little bit, holding on to it. Come on, melt, melt it. Melt it. Just gonna toss this molten metal around like a salad. Oh no, some fell out. Okay, no more tossing. But that should still be enough. 26? Oh yeah. Just get that to the edge and then pour in. Beautiful. A little bit out the top, but that's enough. Okay, so we need to get these all heated up enough and stay heated. Marinate in the heat, if you will. So that's another one. Whoa, no! Oh no, I just spilled that entire shelf. Oh, that's a mess. And it's on the anvil too. Oh, gross. Just use this to sweep it all off of there. That is... Oh, hey! Dodecahedron! Dice! Okay, but thankfully these didn't heat up too much. Gotta be real careful with these things. That's annoying. Oh, a crown! Wait, one fell off! You can't be doing that! That's against the rules. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's just get this decorative fish out of the way. We have a nice amount of heat, so let's just get... Oh, missed entirely! Come on! Get the hammer out there. Oh, 99, that's annoying. Come on, 50, and then another 50. How many times do I gotta do this? This is gonna be a terrible fish. Oh, and thankfully all the little bits are just one hits, but there's so many of them. Oh no, and I'm messing up because we ran out of heat, no! Ah, oh, finish that then. At least it looks cool. But man, that hat is getting real intrusive now. But thankfully we can sell this. Get it under, get it by there. 645 total, sell it. Excellent. We can get that furnace upgrade now. Furnace upgrade, yes. Purchase, we had 700 monies. Ain't know what since I have money. Let's get the crucible lid too. And then not really sure what else to get. So goodbye, give me more orders. And then just dump the money into the piggy bank. That actually works out really well. And man, we have so much in here. How much do we have? Let's check the scrying thing. We've got 362 monies, nice. And I guess the crucible lid is literally just a lid. There we go. That's just an extra step. Kind of annoying, honestly. Get rid of it. Don't need it. But now we have the furnace upgrade here. So that should look really good. Oh, oh yes. No more cracks and scratches here. Also, there's a new lever. What is this for? Oh, I'm guessing we can vent out some of the heat that way. So we get it, we get it pretty hot. And then we flip the lever. And yeah, that cools it off faster. Oh, I love that. 
I also love that this hat is almost above the table. Good on you, Doug Dimidome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimidome. It's just too bad that there wasn't a refinery upgrade there too, so we can get even more materials because there are some that are just spider exclusive so far. Oh, wow. These are getting really interesting. Purple gold? And it's a fireplace shovel, so purple gold craft. That's what we're making. Electrum and Shibuichi. Okay, they really like the Shibuichi. But before we do that, I want to see if we can do something with all these bones. So let's get all those loaded up in the crucible. Maybe we can melt them down into like calcium or ivory. And we can sort of get all of them in here. Looking like a bucket after KFC. Will they melt? It's like, will it blend? They're not melting yet. And we're at almost like 2000 heat, I think. Oh, they just disappear. Oh, that's annoying. But now I kind of wonder what happens if we put the pumpkin in there. It's heating up. Whoa, yeah. It's all crispy now. Let's keep it going. This is science time. Oh, and it just goes away. But you know, we do have a lot of spiders in here that are not really worth anything aside from a squish. Filling up the jar very nicely while we're at it. So I wonder if we have enough to actually like forge a bit of copper things. Maybe we do. Oh no, oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize I actually tipped out. Oh, that's a mess. Well, maybe we can just scoop them all up easy enough. But if we put a whole bunch of them in the crucible like this, oh my goodness, that is just sloshing around in there. And then tip it and, oh yes, that, that oh, oh my God. <laughs> that's overflowing. Okay, there's a lot more there than I thought there were. Let's just, you know, get the excess back in the jar. Will the crucible lid just squish all of these down into there? Down into paste? It, it actually is working. It's actually working. So let's just move all of this to the thing then. And then turn up the heat. Oh, just enough. Wow, that did not take much, and it's already molten. That's some molt. Actually, it looks a little different than carbon, doesn't it? I mean, maybe. Let's get the spectacle over here. And it's 100% carbon, but the name is in question. So we gotta pour this out into a thing. Actually, we should be able to get multiple things in there now, right? As, as soon as they can make it to the crucible, maybe let's take this a little bit outside, which will probably cool it off very quickly now that you think about it, but I wanna get more spiders in here. And you know, just more things which I think I saw a big beetle over here, didn't I? But it's got a weight of 23 so far. That's enough for almost a standard ingot. There's a beetle I saw. I knew there was one of you. That should add quite a bit of weight, hopefully two. So we, woo, spin the cap, top it up, get in there just a little bit, and that's more. So now it has a weight of 32. That's enough for a standard ingot. This is some mad science going on here, but it should be very worth it. Although I feel like it'd be worth it more to get these into the round things because that's how you make more decorative pieces. And that seems to make more sense for a spider concoction, I think. So we can carefully get this over here and then pour it into the thing. Yes, oh, overfilled a little bit, but that is a pure carbon round thing and there's not enough for anything else. Let's just use it. We're gonna make a spider brooch which I thought brooch was two O's, but man, that cools off quick. We should carefully watch the weight, or not the weight, the heat. Oh no, that, that was instant. Oh no. Carbon has such a low melting point. Oh gosh, I hope we, hopefully we can recover from this. Thankfully there's still large bits lying around. So we have, okay, there was also a carbon bit over here. Let's just shove that in there, 16. We need to get those other bits out of there so they cool off. Or we just open this up. That should cool it off, right? Maybe not enough. Just gotta sweep this stuff out towards one direction. And then that cools off into a fairly sizable chunk. Okay, 19. I think that's gonna be enough for the round mold again. This little thing was that spider lure we used last time. Can we reactivate this? I think we can, so we can actually attract more spiders here. And now the hat is going off of the top of the screen. How is the hat going up too? Like the base of it, not just the top. That is insane, I love it. Ooh, there's a spider. Hello, you. Throw you in there. It does take quite a few of these things to actually make the weight because some of them just evaporate instantly. Oh, the spider lure just got smaller, so I guess it does go away eventually. But we did just get another one, so hopefully we are getting enough. Maybe it'll work better if we just wave it around the office. Want to get 
one or two more spiders in here before we melt them all again. Ooh, a big beetle. That's gonna be even better than a spider. Something just like went off. Whoa! Hey, look at you! Oh, it's a little flower thing. Oh, I don't want to kill you. I will kill this guy though. That is amazing. I need another terrarium. It's a flower. Do you have a name? Where, where the, where's the monocle? Here. It's a flower head spider. Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. I saw these little white things traveling across the top of the counter here. I'm like, what in the world is that? It's this guy. So now we just have to be even more delicate about this. And how is that carbon heating up already? That's insane. This does not take a lot of heat, but we were able to get a little more carbon in there. And then let's just give it a quick glance here. 50 degrees Celsius, but we still have 23 grams. So that's enough for one of those things. Just gotta keep it hot. And then, okay, let's maybe scoot this a little closer just so it's not as difficult to pour and without too much spillage. Oh, perfect, that's all of it. Okay, so let's quickly get this guy over to the thing and craft it, begin. Gonna make a spider brooch out of this. Oh, that pounded out very fast. And then one, two, three, four, willing down to nothing. So we have 100% quality, luster 75. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't expect it to be bug shaped. Are they all like that? Oh, that is so cool. I use the bugs to make the bug. What does the monocle say about this? It's a brooch carbon quality only 75%. What do you mean? That's amazing. You're 100% in my book. Are you even worth anything? You're worth one cent. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, but we'll just hold on to this one. That is, that is great. I love that. All of your friends got melted down into this creation. How does that make you feel? You want to join the masses? All good things. But I tell you what, we made a lot of money today and these things can make even more money. But the shovel makes me think that maybe we should wait until the game gets a little more updated. So if you guys want to see more after that, then be sure to let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I would like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, DeviantX, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, Lily, The Miner Within, The Garrity, Sands, Isaac, V, Killer Squad, Mousy, and Nicholas.